Hey y'all, this is Joseph from 3D Sorcerer. Today I want to discuss how to format your micro SD card to 496 bytes per cluster. This is a pretty common issue with micro SD cards and it was one that I encountered recently when I was trying to flash the firmware on a new LCD screen for my Creality Ender 3. Uh, I think that people will have pretty regular issues with the micro SD card and the Ender series in particular, so hopefully this will help someone. Uh, this is particularly for the MacBook, so if you have a Windows, uh, I think there's other instructions on how to do that online, but uh, I've spent a couple hours on this trying to figure it out, and I thought I'd share it briefly, so this will be a pretty quick video, a little different than what I normally do, but hopefully this will help somebody. So the first thing to do to get started with this process is make sure that you're using an administrative account. Okay, so how do you do that? So we type in users and groups uh, in the search, and the way you find the search bar is command and space. For those of you that don't know, uh, click enter, and then we see the screen, and you'll see that I'm listed as the admin. That's what I'm currently logged in as. So first step is achieved. Second step is to format the SD card. And it should be eight gigabytes or less, preferably would be the Creality card that comes with it. So how do we do that? This is gonna be in Disk Utility. Okay, so Disk Utility. Here's what Disk Utility looks like. Uh, this is your MacBook uh, hard drive, and then here is the external drive that I plugged in. I have an adapter. That's probably what yours will look like. You might have a name on it. So. The next step to do, which I don't know how important this is, but when I did it, did it work? This is how I did it. You need to sh click show all devices. So now you'll see that these drop downs appear. This is still obviously your Apple memory, and then here's the external. And we want to actually be working in the, the upper level version, not the actual untitled SD card. So this is my memory card reader. For some reason, that's what it's named. So. This is where we're going to work in. You want to click erase, not restore, erase. And obviously you want to remove anything important on this SD card. So erase, go and leave it, you know, untitled, that's fine. It'll actually, let's name it Ender, that's even better. Ender 3 memory, whatever you want to do. And then for the format, you do MS DOS, parentheses fat not XFAT, MS-DOS, FAT. Okay, so we have that, and then you want master boot record. And then we're gonna click erase. All right, and then this is where you see what uh, your partition is per cluster, okay? So if you read this line, this is just talking about the memory, it's kind of memory stuff, and then you see FAT32, which is the format, which is what we want, and then clusters, you see 32768 bytes per cluster. So this is the issue. This is not 4096, obviously, so we have to fix this, okay? So obviously, done everything right up to this point, but for some reason, this is what it defaults to. We have to figure out how to do that. It's not possible within disk utility from what I understand. Uh, so you have to go into terminal, okay? So then next thing to do, type in terminal. All right, so this is what you should see once you open terminal. This is my username here, but I'm gonna blank that out just for privacy reasons, but otherwise everything else should be the same. Uh, the instructions I'm following are from a Reddit post by Tello Crinkle. I'll put that in the description below. Thank you so much for posting this, Tello. Uh, it really helped us out. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps. First thing you type in is disk util list, and then click enter. And this brings up the memory uh, on your on your computer. And what we're particularly interested in is this dev to disk external physical. So it's referring to the SD card. Yours could be a different disk, but I think most of them will be disk two. And then how do we know that this is a memory card? It says Ender three memory. So this is what we named it. And obviously it's an eight gigabyte memory card, so this lines up well. And what we're looking for is the identifier with an S at the end. So for me, it's this disk 2 S1. 
this is referring to the partition portion of the identifier, which is what we're working on uh, to get that 496 uh, bytes per cluster. So the next step is to unmount the disk. That way we can uh, change the formatting. So we type in disk util unmount backward slash dev backward slash that identifier. So for me, it is disk two S one. So again, looking at this identifier, whatever one yours is uh, right here is what you want to click. And then we click enter. All right. And then it brings up that we unmounted the disk. So now the next step is to type in sudo new fs underscore ms dos dash b4096 and then the same thing before backward slash dev backward slash disk 2s1 or whatever identifier you're using so this is where we're writing the 4096 uh, bytes per cluster okay so this is the important part and then we click enter now it's going to ask for your password so it will not show you typing in the password it's just going to stay just like it is so i'm typing in the password for me now this is just your administrative password that you use to log into the computer when you change the settings and privacy you use the same password so i typed in my password it didn't show anything as you can see it just shows the key sign and now i'm clicking enter and so it worked and uh, you see this warning this is something to do with how apple is processing the memory it's not important it works so just ignore the warning and the reason we know it works is if you come down here we see 4096 bytes per cluster which is the thing that we were trying to do so that the ender 3 will read our memory card so the final thing that we want to do so that you can add uh, the file onto your memory card is you type in disk util mount backward slash dev backward slash the identifier again so for me disk 2 s1 and what this is doing is just remounting the memory card you can see here the google drive automatically detected that so um, now we are ready to proceed with adding the files to the memory card so as far as individual file types, you need two different types of files. One is the DWIN file, it's actually a folder, and this is what you use to flash the LCD screen. And then the second file type is the .bin file. This is for the individual printer you have. So uh, if you have an Ender 3, if you have an Ender 5, those BIN files will be particular for your printer and your particular build. All those are available in Creality. There's a lot of YouTube videos that go over how to flash the firmware, but those are the two files that you're looking for. As far as the sequence goes for flashing the firmware, I recommend starting with the LCD screen because if you don't start with the LCD screen, you won't be able to see if your flash for the printer itself is working or not because the LCD isn't properly set up to display that information. So you already have the empty micro SD card formatted appropriately based on the sets we went through already. You plug in the SD card, and then you add the DWIN folder to the SD card. That's the only thing that should be on uh, the micro SD. We just formatted it, so it's good to go. You make sure the printer is off, plug the SD card into the LCD screen. It's probably on the back. You might have to remove the casing of the LCD screen to get to the SD card slot. So add the micro SD to the LCD screen, turn on the printer, and then the firmware should update on the LCD screen. So at this point, the LCD screen should turn blue and you should see numbers other than zero. If you see numbers, this means that the LCD screen is successfully flashing. Once the flash is complete, you can turn off the printer. Unplug the micro SD card and plug it into the computer again. Remove the DWIN file or delete it, whatever you wanna do, and then add uh, the .bin file to your micro SD card. Do not reformat, do not do any of that because then you'll just undo what we just did. Uh, the next step would be to make sure the printer is off, plug the micro SD into the printer, and then uh, you should turn on the printer and hopefully uh, you'll see that the firmware is flashed uh, for the printer itself. 
As far as what happens during the flash, for me, the loading screen just took a little bit longer uh, during the flash of the actual printer itself, but this may be different for other printers. Uh, it should end up on the main menu once the flash is complete though. If you do both of those steps successfully, it should be ready to go. Uh, there's other videos, like I mentioned, that show this in more detail, but those are the general steps and the sequence I would go in. So the big thing to remember is just don't reformat the SD card after you do this because it's in the correct format. And if you reformat, then it's gonna go back to the incorrect cluster size. So that's what I would do. I uh, hope that this helps you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up uh, if you enjoy this video. Thank you so much. Have a good one.